a very good morning students the agenda for today's class is to help you out with the modern periodic table it's huge and so at times the students don't like it so the aim of today's class is that you love the periodic table and how do we go about it i'll be giving you certain tips certain easy ways to learn the elements in the periodic table most of them the ones which are commonly asked and you should know them some parts would be in hindi also so it would be slightly more beneficial to the indian students or the students who know the language hindi i've taken the broad outline of the periodic table the periodic table that we use known as the modern periodic table has got vertical rows these vertical columns are called as the groups so your groups are group number 1 2 and then you have group number 3 4 5 so on till group number 12 here and then we have group number 13 to 18 here the vertical columns are called as groups therefore the total number of groups that your periodic table has is 1 to 18 coming to the periods periods is the name given to the horizontal rows the horizontal rows are numbered as first row second row third row fourth row fifth row sixth row seventh row i have taken an eighth row also which you will not find in the periodic tables which are given in any of the books i'll specify the reason for it a little later these are the horizontal rows which are called as your periods now looking at the first period you can see the first period has got only two elements so it is a short period the second period has got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 elements so eight elements are there in the second period the third period 1 2 again eight elements the fourth period in the fourth period you have all the elements from group number 1 to group number 18 therefore you have 18 elements let us take a record here the number of elements here is 2 8 8 18 moving to this the fifth period 1 2 and then you have all these filled and then you have these also filled up up to 18 so you have again 18 members in this particular period also the fifth period moving to the sixth period have a close look at the sixth period i have made a star here there is a significance of this star in the sixth period all these are filled that means there are 18 elements but there is a star here and star refers to this horizontal column placed below these are 14 elements in both in both the horizontal rows you have 14 each so the first row of 14 elements is placed here which means you have a total of 18 plus 14 makes it 32 elements moving to the seventh period presently in some books you would find a dash dash here which shows that these elements are not discovered but not in the present day present day the periodic table all the elements of seventh period are discovered so we don't now call it as an incomplete period hence this particular period also has elements from group number 1 to group number 18 that is 18 elements plus if you can see there's a double star here and the double star refers to this double star the lower horizontal column given here which is again a set of 14 elements also called as the actinoids the first row is known as lanthanoids and these lanthanoids are placed here whereas these are to be placed at this point so you have a 14 actinoid group placed in the seventh period along with the 18 members here so that again makes it capacity for 32 elements now what about this 8 period this 8 period is just to make you understand that we can have the next period as of now the last element discovered is 
118. So your 118th element comes to the 7th period, 18th group. As soon as we have the next member discovered, which would be 119, this would come up here. That was just to make you understand that presently the last element which has place in the periodic table is 118. So if you have a 119, it would fall in the 8th period. Apart from this, your group number 1 has got members which are hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. This is still not discovered. Now out of these, this particular element, if you see, there is a dent in the periodic table. You will find there is a gap here. This gap here shows that hydrogen is not included in this particular group. And in some books, you would find that hydrogen is given a specific place in the periodic table at the center of the periodic table like this. So, we are not going to include hydrogen whenever we talk about group number 1. The members of group number 1 are given a special name as alkali metals. Now, the easy way to learn group number 1 members is Lina, Ki, Rabadi, Sasti or Free. I repeat, Lina, Ki, Rabadi, Sasti or Free. That's the way you can learn it up. It's just a quote that I've made so that life becomes a little easier for chemistry students. So the first group, I repeat once and for last, Lina, Ki, Rabadi, Sasti, Free becomes your group number one. Moving on to group number 2. The members of group number 2 are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. The last element still not discovered. If at all it is discovered it would be the element number 120. So group number 2 elements are given a special name as Alkaline earth metals. Both these groups are highly metallic. And the second group is also in the earth crust. So they are both basic alkaline, that's the word for basic elements. And their metals so automatically become basic. So group number two, the members are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. These elements, if you want the names of these elements, then the easier way to learn this particular group is Beta, Mange, Car, Scooter, Bap, Razi. I repeat, Beta, Mange, Car, Scooter, Bap, Razi. And why did I lose, use the word Razi? Under the assumption that all of you have taken up science and you are good. So your father should not disagree. If at all you're asking for scooter and these days we even have scooties which do not have any gears so no tension of the license also. So you can even think of a scooty. So we can call it as beta mange car scooty. Bap ras. Moving on to group number 13. The members of group number 13 are boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. Boron, Aluminium, Gallium, Indium and Thallium. This particular group is also called as the Boron family. Otherwise, I call it as my name is the Vegetable Group. Now, why the Vegetable Group? The easier way to learn this is Bangan, Alu, Gajar in Thala. I repeat, Bangan, Alu, Gajar in Thala. This becomes your Vegetable Group for group number 13. Moving on to group number 14. The members of group number 14 are carbon, silicon, germanium, SN stands for tin and PB stands for lead. Just for your information, the next member here would be 114. Here it is 113. So we are not calling their names because there is a special way of naming these which is given by IUPAC which we are not doing in this particular class. So the elements are these in group number 14. The easier way to learn is class se gai snooker pub. 
क्लास से गए स्नूकर पब इज द वे यू कैन लर्न ग्रुप नंबर फोर्टीन आई रिपीट वंस ओवर क्लास से गए स्नूकर पब मूविंग ऑन टू ग्रुप नंबर फिफ्टीन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज योर नाइट्रोजन फैमिली द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस ग्रुप आर नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस एस स्टैंड फॉर आर्सेनिक antimony and bismuth of course the last element would be 1 1 nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth and 1 1 5 is the last element now 15th group the last element is 1 1 5 14th group the last element is 1 1 4 13th group the last element is 1 1 3 this would help you later now the easier way to learn this now i have two ways of learning this particular one is the censored and the other is the non censored first we'll go to the censored version nana patakar asal mein sab ka bhai hai nana patakar asal mein sab ka bhai hai is the easy way to learn it now the non censored one is nay padosan asal mein sab ki i advise behan hai but students say no ma'am bv looks better so you can even learn it as nay padosan असल में सबकी बीवी है दैट्स द सेंसर्ड वर्जन नॉन सेंसर्ड वर्जन अदरवाइज द इजियर वुड बी नाना पार्टिकर असल में सबका भाई है लुकिंग एट हिज एक्टिंग एंड द प्रो सोसाइटी एक्ट्स दैट ही डज नाना पार्टिकर असल में सबका भाई है और एल्स नई पड़ोसन असल में सबकी बहन है और एल्स नई पड़ोसन असल में सबकी बीवी है चूज योर पिक मूविंग टू दिस ग्रुप नंबर सिक्सटीन ग्रुप नंबर सिक्सटीन इज ऑक्सीजन सल्फर सिलेनियम Tellurium and polonium. Of course, the last member would be one one six. This is an anti-disciplinary. So I'll mark it with a red. Why is it called as an anti-disciplinary group? Because the learning is us se tepo copy it. Tepo means copying. Us se tepo. So you are promoting copying. So I call it as an anti-disciplinary group. Otherwise, this group also has a special name as chalcogens which means ore forming coming to group number 17 the members of group number 17 are fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and the last member which is radioactive is astatine with 80 of course this member would be 117 this i promote a chemistry group and the name of this group i have given it as full color brightness in an atom full color brightness in an atom this particular group is for chemistry students it is also called as the halogens coming to the last group the 18th group or the noble gases the elements in the noble gases are helium neon argon krypton xenon and the last member is rn now the last member is not studied it is radioactive the easier way to learn it is hina nina or karina hina nina or karina ka x ray rangin hina nina or karina ka x ray rangin i'll give it a quick recap now lina की रबड़ी सस्ती एंड फ्री बेटा मांगे कार स्कूटर बाप राजी बैंगन आलू गाजर इन थैला क्लास से गए स्नू का पप नाना पाटेकर असल में सबका भाई है आई एम यूजिंग द सेंसर वर्जन उस से टेपो द चैलकोजन ग्रुप द कॉपिंग ग्रुप एंटी डिसिप्लिनरी ग्रुप फुल कलर ब्राइटनेस इन एटम सो इट इज फॉर द केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दिलोजन and the last hina nina or karina ka x ray that is xenon rangi i hope i helped you out learning a few elements group number 3 to 12 is also called as the transition elements where these are from group number 3 to 12 with this i close my class thank you